Hey everyone, Captain Fields here. Welcome back to Spirit Fire. Yeah, Spirit Fair. Sorry, messed up on that intro a bit. Uh, we're on part twelve now. Uh, last time we just said goodbye to summer. Um, yeah, we're just slowly getting there, I guess. <laughs> but now we can see her, her constellation in the stars once the sun goes down. I also want to, to do a few things today, and I didn't want to forget about them, so I wrote them down. <laughs> First, um. Well, I don't really- oh, Olga's back. I guess Olga's back. I- I did- I got some marble, because that's what I'm gonna need to upgrade my ship here pretty soon. Um, I wanna build Astrid's bungalow, so we're gonna do that first, just to get that out of the way. Oh, over here. And we can build it, because I was grinding for stuff and I was able to get that. It's pretty cheap. Personally, didn't think that it was gonna be that easy to get. Ah. <laughs> uh. Should I put it there? Now, you know what? I'm gonna do this. Uh, I'm gonna put his little thing up here. Like, right next to there. Move that for a second. Move this for a second. And then build her house. Let's see if it could fit. Hey. <laughs> I was hoping this would work. But alas. I mean, I could make his house a little bit taller up there. And I could move you back over here. And we'll keep you right here. That doesn't look too shabby, I guess. I mean, birds need to be high in the air right that day. Uh, because that Gustav lives there. Alright, so that checks off the list. Now she's gonna like her house. Let's see what it looks like, actually. It's a pretty big space, not gonna lie. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> that's a... That's a... That's the biggest house so far. I think, anyway. It looks like it. She has a little house or a little door up here, too. And a little couch. Looks amazing. Perfect. Stella, you've got to be kidding me. This house is just fantastic. Okay, she's kind of sweet. She, at first, I kind of, uh... I don't know, mistook her for a different kind of person. <laughs> I thought she was going to be a bitch, honestly. <laughs> this house is just fantastic. You know, I love the simple things. Simple things that make me feel good and warm inside. What I can say I just don't like is too complicated or luxurious. Mm -hmm. I just don't. That's who I am. I've always been like that, as far as I remember. When I was young, many of my friends were pretty rich and famous. Mm -hmm. You know, artists, philosophers, sports athletes. I always attract... I don't, I've always attracted the finest people, what can I say? <laughs> but it didn't mean a thing back then, and it still doesn't up to this mm -hmm. day. That's probably why I ended up marrying Giovanni. Wait, so did they marry and divorce or something? I guess so. He was so simple, yet so elegant. So genuine, but also fun and unpretentious. Mm -hmm. And he didn't have a dime in- And he didn't have a dime to his name. Still doesn't, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've got to miss- I, I think I miss him. I know I shouldn't. <laughs> the little thing just- hum. <laughs> I know he's worthless riffraff. Mm -hmm. I know he probably doesn't give a shit about me now. But- I just can't forget about him. Hey Munchkin, do you think you could check the mail? Maybe Olga has written about him as she said she would. I would be so grateful if you did. Thanks a lot, Stella. I won't forget this. Well, Olga's right here. She can tell you. <laughs> uh, I think anyway. No, apparently not. It said Olga was here on the map. But I suppose not. Okay, that's the bungalow off of that. Uh, I, I was thinking about going to see, go get Giovanni, but that's just another person to put on the ship. Right now, we don't need that. Um, I was thinking about going to Gustav's area after, well, first of all, after we do Alice's story. Because she's been, I've been, like, neglecting her story for quite a while now. So, let's just go over here and see if she says it. Because last time, if it wasn't in the video, 
She's just staying up here the whole time. Oh, I gotta feed her. <laughs> yeah, she likes old-fashioned food. She's very happy now, but she doesn't really seem to remember me. She thinks I'm her daughter because I'm wearing her her daughter's outfit. And she said something about a red hat, so I, th I, th I think I'm gonna go put that on real quick. I've been kind of waiting to do this. Red hat. All right, now we look like Jesse from Toy Story. <laughs> hmm. Annie, there you are. Hmm. I was scared. I thought you had left. I'm feeling tired. We are on our way home, aren't we? Tell me when we're there. Oh, oh nice. Request advanced. Okay, now what can we do? Bring Alice to the Evador and talk to her wearing Annie's outfit and a birth red Aww. I guess we're gonna do that this episode, but for now, I think we'll just go and do those other challenges then. It's not gonna take that long. Uh, because I want to get as much stuff done before. I, I like ending the video on a sad note. Not a sad note, but like, a bittersweet note, you know? Uh, time to go to sleep, though. That's gonna be sad, though. I didn't think we were- <laughs> Every time I think that it's gonna take a while to bring these spirits to the Everdoor, it's like, really simple. It's like, oh, just bring them there. Oh, okay. They're not even saying they're ready. Man, I kind of wanted to know more about uh, Alice, though. Like, she, f her, her and Summer just felt like they went by really fast. But then again, we're in 12 episodes, and it took 11 episodes to get Summer out. <laughs> okay. Um, so we're not going to do that just yet. Uh, one thing that I want to do is go to Oxbury, because, um, where is Oxbury anyway? Is it over here? Uh, that's Loneberg. There's a spirit here too, I don't- I've never seen him yet, though. Nord's Pier. Or, sorry. Uh, North Sea Pier. I've never been there. I've also never gotten Tuna before, I wonder what that's like. I wonder if it's, like, special. Uh, called Sign Mines. Oxbury. We're trying to find Oxbury on the map. Um, meadows. Sorry, it might take me a while to find this. That's... Okay, well, we can't go to Oxbury yet. We need to send Alice to the, um, the Everdor first. So let's just do uh, Astrid's thing. Astrid's thing was... Um, visit Ishwama countryside because that's where um, that's where Giovanni's going to be. So let's just see if we can get Giovanni on the ship. So the Ishwama countryside is let's see, I think it's on the west side. Runa Fields. I think it's right here. No, no, it's further away. Ishwama countryside. Don't remember where that was. We have a long time to find something on the map. Ishwama countryside. Please don't tell me these things are uh, places we can't go yet. I remember Ishwama countryside existed, but these are all in the ice areas. Um. Where is it? I'm probably just missing it somewhere. Green fields. There it is. Okay. <laughs> well, it took me so long to, to find. Okay, so let's go to the bus stop and we can quickly make our way over there. Uh, how do you feel about that? What does he not like? He seems to like everything. Or he seems to be tolerant of everything. Um, has a nice house. Visited the Gustav's gallery. Wait. Oh, wait, did I just do that recently or what? Oh, he's actually added more stuff here. That's cool. Before it was just kind of empty. He's a very simple man. But so far, I don't think we can add anything to his house. Wait a minute. 
he gave me something. A miniature diorama. How much is that worth? Oh, it doesn't say. Okay. I guess the price varies depending on uh, who's there. I can't believe two episodes in a row we're gonna, uh, mm -hmm. send people to the Everdoor. Mm -hmm. That is not a strawberry. <laughs> Wait, I guess her thing's not underwater. Be a deer and don't come up. <laughs> okay, we're going... Why does it not go to the bus stop? Just go to the bus stop. Is where I wanted you to go. Um, do, must I go around you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Have a nice life. I swear, we just look like Jesse from Toy Story. It's kind of funny. <laughs> I do like the red hat, though. Not gonna lie, it looks pretty sick. Okay, now we'll go to the bus stop. <laughs> My god. Olga just didn't want to move. Okay, kind of wanted to see if we could edit his house. Oh, improve his house, sorry. No. He doesn't want anything, I guess. What about her house? Ooh. Again, I don't have any of this stuff. I can get cotton fabric for a vase. Clear glass sheets, pulsar ingots, and ash planks. All which I can't make. But we can make it- we can do stuff like that in the next episode, I think, because we're probably going to be able to make the Rock Destroyer after we send Alice to the Everdoor. Uh, so yeah, we'll get Cotton for now and just upgrade that part of her house. Cotton! Uh, actually, he's in the way, so never mind. <laughs> I don't like it when those things get in the way. Uh, it's over here, right? Is from a country, country sound? I believe so. Yeah! Ha ha! Yes. I mean, technically, we could just send her to the through the Everdoor without ending the episode yet, just so we can get on with the story. But I want to kind of feel something for it. I'll I'll see what we do. Ish from countryside, here we come. Let me just do that thing with the cotton. Wow, that is really... a really small meter. Okay, Astrid. You walk so slow. I know you walk swagger, but... <laughs> I don't care. Oh, I had a lot of cotton thread. Why didn't I just do that? Might as well get it all in there. What are you gonna do with the other stuff? I can't really get it perfect. Oh, wow. We're here. Oh, yeah, she's coming with us, obviously. Let's just uh, upgrade her house for first. Didn't realize we could already upgrade her house, though. Cool. She could get a little TV set. <laughs> it makes sense that there's a glass, uh, clear glass sheet for it, though. I wonder what pulsar ingots are, though. I like how her house has a little cactus, too. Like, that's... a uh, nice touch to it. We're here. Let's see if he's around. They're gonna have a fight, aren't they? <laughs> I've been told that this guy is kind of an asshole. And that his story is not very compelling. <laughs> But we'll see, I suppose. Ishwama countryside. Olga said in her letter that Giovanni could have been around. Knowing him as I do, I have my doubts. He wouldn't be he wouldn't linger in a place like this. Mm -hmm. But who knows? Maybe if you ask around we might find a clue or two? I'll leave you to it. I don't want you to go too far. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go too far. The humidity is killing me here. Go, go. I trust you will find interesting stuff. 
Oh yeah, the guys who like to spit over the fucking bridge. <laughs> so the, the little people in the... that you can't bring onto your ship are really weird. Hey, Tool. Oh man, I want to get his story done, but he... It takes forever because... Oh wait, maybe I have to ask those people. This place is very small. Um, yeah, I can't get him fried chicken because I can't make fat yet. I've been told, yeah, I have to get the rock destroyer before I even do that. Mm -hmm. Who? I don't remember his name. That knight didn't call for names, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. I do remember his legs, though. <laughs> oh, brother. Mm -hmm. Wait, he has a wife? He didn't say anything about it. Mm. He did say that he was going to Furo Furogawa. Well, if you ever meet up with him, tell oh. him... Tell him that Eileen misses him. Ah, I see what kind of a man he is. <laughs> I could do this all day. Yeah, spit over the fucking bridge. Mm -hmm. He was here, you say? And he met someone? Mm. No. <laughs> I fucking love that. <laughs> that thing she does. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me. I don't want to know. Okay, maybe I do. But just a tiny bit. Only where he went. Mm -hmm. Furugawa, he's, you say. I think I know where that is. I heard it's a lovely place. Well, at least that's what the brochure said. Mm -hmm. I always love these colorful flyers. They make you travel without leaving your seat. Mm -hmm. Alright, Munchkin, let's uh, check it out. I think I'm warming up to her a little bit. Uh, I don't fucking want to do that right now. Mushrooms are worth a lot, and you can find them anywhere. <laughs> I just realized after, because I upgraded my ship, by the way, just before uh, uh, recording it, and I sold a lot of stuff, and mushrooms are actually very, very uh, expensive. <laughs> okay, let's go to Furugawa. Furugawa. Is that over here? It's way over here. So let's just go to the bus stop. Hey, look, onion bro. Speak of the devil. Hopefully we can get there before the sun goes down. hi yup. Oh yeah, I like when he plays the violin, it's kind of... It's classic. <laughs> Does it say there's a spirit here? No. Um, I think... He could be, um... The one that's on in Loneberg over here. Or over here. Because there's a spirit here and a blueprint chest. Uh, he might be all the way over there, for all we know. Mm -hmm. Hmm, that's funny. Is it his cologne that I can smell? This peculiar mix of musk and non chalice mm -hmm. talents. He must have been here recently. Quick, Munchkin, let's ask around. You're in over your head. Giovanni? That name. Don't say that name. He almost broke up my marriage. Came here a month ago. Big man. Thinking he's the boss. Good thing my wife came uh, to her senses. Oh, okay. I thought this was the wife. <laughs> <clears throat> Good thing... Okay. He apparently didn't like the weather. Good riddance. Hmm. So he's flirting with a bunch of other women. That are married. And he was married. Sorry, Stella. I... Oh, damn it. Enough is enough. I'm done wasting my time. I won't be looking for that hoodlum anymore. I don't need him to be happy. I don't need to hear his stupid jokes and incessant yammering. I don't need to be suffocated by his floral clone. I don't need to have him constantly showering me with praise. I don't need to see him as flamboyant mane. I don't... I... Let's go back to the boat, Munchkin. Humble abode. Um... Actually, yeah, let's see what... Can do here. Check the mail. A letter from Olga. Is that it? Oh, I was hoping we can actually do something, but maybe we can't get him right in this episode. It just said he didn't like the weather, so I'm guessing he's in Loneberg. So let's go and let's go and check it out. Oh, there's a letter in the mail. Letter from Olga. Oh, I need to sell those things. Astrid, big news. You'll be glad to know that my sources have finally panned out. I heard si my sister, Masha, might know something about your husband's whereabouts. You should go and then drop on in on her. Okay, I guess we need to talk to her then. I can't talk to her yet. 
Uh, let's give her. I need to cook some food. Mm -hmm. I don't seem to care though what I give them. Good morning. I need to feed everyone. I don't think I fed a tool in like. According to this, probably like four days. <laughs> I wonder if you break the game if you do that. Yeah, whatever. Uh, bus stop right here. I think it's a snow area. Yeah. I love the f I love the fast travel feature here. Okay, yeah, let's feed a tool wherever he is. Uh, he's in there. He's probably not happy. <laughs> oh, he's extremely happy. <laughs> he's he has a well improved house. Excited about the new sawmill, and he's proud of his work, but he's starving, unfortunately. But it's because he likes everything. Is he gonna be like really happy now? Yeah. <laughs> he plays joyful music. I love when he plays the flute thing. <laughs> ah. I heard we received another letter from Olga. Masha, you say? She's her sister. She might know something about Giovanni's location. Okay, good. Let's go talk to her then. She is, how do I put it, special. Me and her. Let's say we've never been friends. And Stella, thanks for playing messenger. You're wonderful. Aw. Humble abode. But where is she, though? Find Olga's sister, Masha. Where would that be, though? I mean, we're over here now. Um, that's just new territory. Over here. Oh, never mind. I just found her. <laughs> I just found her on the map. Masha. Never mind. I, I figured that it wouldn't be. Are you okay with food? Let's just give you an apple. Let's cook some other stuff, because I haven't been cooking lately. I feel like I've been neglecting that skill. Flour... Rice. Now it's still rice, but tiny. <laughs> An easy flour to thicken any sauce. I mean, let's put that in there, and let's... Oh, we can put pork in there. Don't let them seep together. Um, I can put anything else in there, except for wood. Uh, let's see what we can do... Well, let's test it out with mackerel. Gonna take a while. Let's cook something else in here. Um... We'll just cook that with rice flour. Let's just see if I can do that. Oh yeah, he makes sushi. <laughs> he actually gave me some sushi. Oh, but now he's gonna get every he's gonna give everyone COVID now. Okay, that's all that's all I can do with her right now. I want to change. I have to be fair. I want to change Daffodil's color. Oh, because we have a... Oh, that's so cool. I like that one. I like the tux. <laughs> but I have to wear this outfit, though. Uh, not right now. But I might as well keep it on just in case I forget. Ah, yes. Another giant turtle. Doesn't say anything until she comes, so when is she coming? I've made sushi! Oh, uh... uh -huh. I made a delicacy. Have some sushi. Feed it to those. They will. They'll love it. Ooh. Let's get you as well, while she is slowly walking towards Masha. Okay, they've never been friends though, so this might this might not bode well. I, as I told you, Masha and I have never really got along. She's a tired or she's a tried and true blabbermouth. <laughs> and no, not the funny kind. And yes, much worse than me. 
I never took pleasure in destroying other people's lives. On the contrary. All right. I should be able to pull off a little bit of acting here. Let's see if I can fake it. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Masha. Good to see you again, old hag. <laughs> You've retreated much further than I thought. How how are you doing these days? Well, well, if it isn't Astrid. You've never been this nice to me before. Did Olga send you? Should I assume you'd need a favor? If it's a scarf, sorry, honey, but I've just given the last one I knitted to a lovely chap up in the mountains. But I still have some winter socks if you're interested. That's nice of you, but that won't be necessary. No, thank you. Stella here welcomed me on her boat and made a wonderful house for me while we were cruising the oceans. All of my needs are met thanks to this wonderful young lady. Actually, it's information I'm after. Darling, have you heard anything about Giovanni? I know it's silly, but I'm still look looking for my lazy husband. Olga said in a letter you had uh, a lead on where to find him. Oh, I did actually. But Astrid, you know I'm not in the business of gossiping. <laughs> I'm sure you are. <laughs> Olga, maybe. And I won't even talk about Irina. But me? Oh my, never. Remember when I uh, inadvertently mentioned Sir Bo Brogwood? How his wife had met his cousin in the lower garden? Had met with his cousin in the lower garden? Or when Mrs. Fredericks confided in me uh, the secret of her foreign lover? You don't? Exactly. Oh, she's looking happy over there. Is she just gossiping now? This is kind of weird. That's because I've never told no- <laughs> Never told no one. Well, you just told us now. Mm -hmm. Oh, Masha, darling, that's true. But what do you make of Sir Lungan's spat with his wife? Because someone blabbed about it, his mistress to Mrs. Langard's, uh, Langdon's maid. Mm -hmm. Oh, and what about that time when little Bobby accidentally discovered who killed his pet bird, Zach Zachariah? Zachariah? Yeah. That's a weird way of spelling it. Oh, oh. What do you think of the ruckus caused by the discreet revelation of Miss Gardner's secret stash of fine liquor? I could go on and on and on, honey. <laughs> I... but... thought it was different. Mm -hmm. Where is he, Masha? <laughs> oh, well, okay. He's in Loneberg. Yeah, we already knew that, but he just... he's waiting for someone. He hooked up with someone. I don't know the details. Wasn't how hard now, was it? Thanks for helping me out, Masha. Your kindness is as gigantic as your forehead. <laughs> you did the right thing, and I won't forget. Who knows, you might even receive a crate or two of uh, freshly threaded wool in a couple of weeks. And Stella here might need your services. I'll leave it to you. I'll leave you to it. See you soon, Masha. Damn, I hate her stupid face. Mm -hmm. I'm out of here. <laughs> I could plan a few things on her, I guess. Uh... Aluminum. I don't need anything else. Oh, but we could get more maple. Just in case. Ooh, can I plant this on her? Oh, I can't do that. Uh, maple log. Wait. Why did I do that? And another one. Why not? You took your sweet time, right? <laughs> Are you done? Yes. Alright. I'll see you later then. Bye bye! Well. She has never been nice, running her mouth like that. She's the mean one of the bunch, but enough about her. Thanks for bringing me here, Munchkin. So Giovanni is in Lundberg. Well, he usually hates winter. Let's go find him, Munchkin. Let's feed you. Uh, I'll get some sushi. Thank you, Munchkin. Um, does Giovanni like uh, sushi? Because he's the one that makes it, but I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. Okay, Loneberg. <laughs> Literally the place that we were- we just were. So without further ado... Well, can I sleep? First? Yes, I can. I'd rather just get that over with. 
I really like the uh, new fur on Daffodil. Ah, yes. We have to get our stuffs. <laughs> I made the kitchen so far. <laughs> Burn a lot of calories just from walking all the way over here. Calamari rings. Let's see what you need for those. Oh, a squid and flower. Okay. <laughs> The more you know, I suppose. Uh, we can make apple pie now, though. Let's try that. Oh, wait. We need a certain type of flour, though. What about corn flour? Yeah, we can do that. Yes. I think we need to make some more. Yeah. Definitely need to make some more. I think this adjusts to the wind. I think so. We'll just keep it there. Yeah, it took me a little bit to figure this out the first time. <laughs> Stella. He's been here. I can feel it. I won't beg, but if you could... Oh, come on. You know what I... You know what to do. <laughs> Let's ask around. I mean, he's right there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my. Aren't you the cutie pie, Bambina? I'll call you Peanut. Like a cute little peanut pie. What the fuck? <laughs> what? You are looking for someone named Giovanni. Ha, but that, Bambina, doesn't surprise me one bit. I mean, who isn't looking for me? I'm Giovanni. Le uh, Leone Formidaba uh, Formidabile. Sorry to break it to you, though. You're a bit young for me. <laughs> what? Astrid, you say? She's with you on their, your lovely boat? Say no more. Here I come. Oh my fucking god. That was easy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he- what? Oh, he's right there. Mm -hmm. Just like that? No fuss? Really? He must be really desperate. Let's go back. <laughs> That's hilarious. Think they're gonna get back together? Maybe. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's here. Well, don't just stand there. Welcome him aboard, Stella. Hey! What? He doesn't even say anything? All right, now I'm gonna have to deal with you this entire time. Giovanni. Astrid. Oh, Astrid. You look good. Always. And you look splendid too, princess. Oh, God. Astrid, I was looking for you. Everywhere I went, you were not there. Honey, my life is empty without you. The air tastes like dust. The ground feels wobbly. The stars are gone from the sky. And no one is here to scratch my back. Even... <laughs> I even had to buy a back scratcher. You know, the wooden ones with a little plastic hand on top. Stop it, Giovanni. I haven't forgotten what you did. I will never forget. But... But... But I'm willing to forgive you. Only if you promise to behave. Can you do that, Giovanni? Can I trust you on this? Or should I forget about you right here and now? Uh-huh. <laughs> Not the right answer. <laughs> yes. Oh yes, my princess. I have my have my back. Have my back and I'll show you how to be tr how trustworthy I can be. I will shower you with gifts and never take the slightest peep at another woman ever again. Oh god, that doesn't sound right. Heavens, I'll even stop looking at other people. <laughs> you have my word. Mm -hmm. Alright. Alright, Gio... Geovinkins. Geovinkins? What kind of a nickname is that? <laughs> but you're still on probation, mister. Mm -hmm. If I ever see you doing something fishy, I'll kill you. Um... 
I hate to break it to you, but you guys are already dead. <laughs> you hear me? Now, come here. I have so much to tell you. Mm -hmm. Giovanni have a few things to settle. You don't need to babysit me for a while. But I'm sure you've got better things uh, to do than watch two accident lovebirds reconnect. Just love the way he walks. Mm -hmm. I'll talk to you later. Okay, I believe it is time. It is time to take our lovely Alice to the Everdor. I know. Two episodes in a row. Hey, apple pie. Yeah. It's going to be sad. We're going to hear the or feel the feels. Let's go back to the bus stop real quick though. Hey, Tool, how you doing? I'm not feeling so hot right now. I've got a lot on my mind. I keep thinking about my friend Zazie. Did you ever meet her? We used to organize rallies when we were younger. A picture of her and me is the only picture I have in my wallet. I've had it for over 40 years. Didn't you have a wife? <laughs> and kids? Damn. Your Aunt Viv would murder me if she knew I didn't at least have one picture of our kids. Or her, <laughs> I'd assume. And she adored Zaz. Everyone did. Maybe we should- maybe we should hang it in my house. I won't get rid of- of uh, the folds, but at least I won't- uh, it won't get rid of the folds, but at least I won't get water all over it. Are we able to do that? Let's first, uh, don't forget it's about the chicken. Yeah. I wonder if we're able to do that, though. Okay, Everdor. I don't want to go on too long, because I don't want to have to cut out too much in this video. So I guess, uh, as we're going to the Everdoor. Hey, Peanut! Oh god. I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> also, you guys don't seem to be conversing with each other. But I like that we have a new person on the ship. I don't mind. I honestly don't. He's just not gonna be the best person. Well, he, I, he might surprise me. I don't know. I see you picked a spot on the map. What a wonderful in initiative, Bambina. Seeing the world, going places, meeting new faces. His facial animations are so weird. It's all so exhilarating. Before we uh, go somewhere incredible, though, could you do something for me? Let's go somewhere else. Okay. I'll let you know a little secret. I want to make some re I want to make someone really happy. Shh. Don't say it out loud. A secret, I told you. And yes, yeah, you guessed it right. A very special lady. I want to show her how much she matters to me. Ha. I knew you would be on board. All right. We need to go to Bottom Line Corp do to do some shopping. I've heard the shop there receives a new batch of fancy chocolate boxes, and she loves chocolates, the dark and expensive kinds. It's the perfect gift, don't you think? Wonderful Bambino. Let's head there then. I don't think we can go there yet. I have a feeling it's not Astrid. <laughs> so, yeah, let's just see real quick on the map. Bottom line corp is probably like... Or this is... No, this is the different one. Uh, I think it's past here. Meow. South Point Docks. Oxbury. Bottom... Okay, we can't go there. Uh... Okay. Alice, I think it's time to go. Oh, oh Annie, we're there, aren't we? Can we go now? Oh. All right, then. Oh. oh. Yeah, hers is pretty sad. I like the little music that happens too. Sorry I made this ship a little big to walk across, uh, Alice. We've had quite mem quite good memories together, haven't we? I know you will be missed. And your sheep will miss you too. They won't give a fuck, I'm gonna say that right now. <laughs> Sorry, this is a very emotional moment. <clears throat> oh, everyone's already here. 
Or at least they are. Is there someone else here? Okay. This guy literally just got here, though. Is this all that's on our ship? Because we got rid of, um, got rid of. <laughs> uh. Oh. Yeah, Summer and Gwen were both gone, but I think we've had other people. I don't know. I think that's it, though. Hmm. What a wonderful scenery. Did you find this place all by yourself, Annie? You'd gone exploring earlier, haven't you? Always such an adventure, are you? I'm so proud of you. Hmm. These trees are quite marvelous. Eugene would be so mad to have missed that. Perhaps he'll... He'll be able to take some time off next summer. Yes, that's for certain here. I feel I could stay here forever. I think you will be, uh, Alice. You haven't told me about school recently. Is everything still going well? And your grades, are they... Oh, of course, you're graduating a long... You graduated a long time ago. I'm sorry, I didn't know I got this confused. Yeah, I think she had dementia. It's kind of sad. It's a scary thing. A lot worse to have when you're younger, but... Hmm. <laughs> At least it's not like Gwen's dialogue or Summer's dialogue, because they talk and talk and talk. She's just like, how's school going, Annie? Hmm. Nice and peaceful. You're... you're not Annie, are you? Yes, of course. I guess I have been rather forgetful recently. Oh. She was like the sweetest one, too. Maybe Eugene will... When you see your father, tell him about the trees, won't you? I'm sure he'll be excited to come with us next year. Hmm. Oh, I just realized I never hugged her the entire time. I feel so bad about that. Oh. <laughs> Do you have another one of those uh, things? Or is it just going to be this? Hmm. a bit sad. <laughs> oh, wait. It's right here. Oh, it's right here. Or... No. Okay. Well, uh, I'm gonna leave that right there. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's, it's been... We've already got um, three people to the Everdoor. We've made their lives better, I suppose. Um, still feel bad for not realizing not ever once did I hug her the entire time. At least I don't think so. I don't remember doing it. But I'm gonna leave that there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hit the like button and subscribe and hit the notification bell to see when the next video is gonna come up. And I will see you in the next one. Captain Field out.